Greetings, my dear viewers. It is I, Drehon, and welcome back to another Dungeons and Dragons character conversion, Adventures in the Forgotten Realms edition. Today we are going over the second commander deck for this set, Sifris of the Hidden Way. <clears throat> So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the build, and as always we are using the point buy system for our stats. Strength will be a 12, Dexterity and Wisdom are going to be a 14, Constitution will be a 10, and Intelligence is going to be 13. Oh, and uh, Charisma is also a 10. For race, it clearly states that Cyphrus is a human, so we're going to go ahead and grow up the human race. Variants more specifically. We're going to increase our intelligence by one and our wisdom by one. Excuse me. Speed will have 30 feet. For our skill, grab religion. For the feet, grab polearm master. And for languages, common and gnomish. For background, grab Sage, because I'm sure you had to study a lot in order to be given the title of the Hidden Way. You'll get skills in Arcana in History. For languages, just grab Elvish and Dwarvish. And for your feature, grab Re you get Researcher. Now, for our class, I think that we should start things off as a monk. And I can already hear you in the comments section. But Durehan, Sifras is clearly a wizard. Why would you give her the monk class? And to that I say, look at her artwork. She has this feel of a monk. Also, she is known as Sifris of the Hidden Ways. The last time we saw Hidden Way was the Mystic of the Hidden Way, which is also a monk. So that is why we are using monk to start off. Also, monk gets a D8 for their hit die, so we get a little bit more hit points. For your proficiencies, you get simple weapons and short swords. Tools grab bird pipes, which is just another pan flute, basically. For saving throws, you have strength and dexterity. For your skills, grab athletics and acrobatics. You get the features unarmored defense and martial arts. Now we will multi-class into Wizard, giving us a D6 hit die. And we get Spell Casting, which uses our Intelligence modifier. And we get Ritual Casting. We also get the feature known as Arcane Recovery. Level 2 Wizards get an Arcane Tradition. And we're grabbing Necromancy for obvious reasons. We'll get Necromancy Solvent and Grim Harvest. Level 2 Monks get the key feature, which the save DC uses the Wisdom modifier, and we get Unarmored Movement, increasing our movement speed by 10. Level 3 Monks get Key Fueled Attack, thanks to Tasha's Cauldron of Everything, and we also get a Monastic Tradition. Go for Way of the Long Death. You get the feature Touch of Death. Now you see why we went with Monk. Every subclass of Monk is Way of Something. And Sifris is known as Sifris of the Hidden Ways. You get it? Anyway. Moving on to level 4 wizard, we get an ability score improvement. Go ahead and increase your dexterity to 16. And level 4 monks get slow fall 
quickened healing, thanks Tasha. And we'll go ahead and grab a feat. We'll grab Magic Initiate and use Druid. And we'll get the Cantrips Mending and Shalila. And the first level spell, Cure Wounds. I think that would be quite helpful. Level 6 Wizards get the next part of Sephiroth's abilities, Undead Thralls. We'll get the spell, Animate Dead. And our zombies are a little bit more powerful thanks to this feature. 5th level Monks get extra attack, focused aim thanks to Tasha's Cauldron of Everything, and Stunning Strike. And level 6 Monks get Key Empowered Strikes and Hour of Reaping. <clears throat> and I think that's going to be all we do for today, my dear viewers. I do hope you enjoyed. If you want a certain character to be converted into a Dungeons & Dragons style, let me know which character you'd like to see next time in the comments section down below. Until next time, this has been Drehan, and I am offline.